Okay, stop. Welcome to Dr. B in 3. Here's mom. Okay, okay, okay. Glaciers are melting, sea levels are rising, and shifting weather patterns are creating more severe natural disasters. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges humanity has ever faced. It's so big that it can be hard to wrap your head around the entire picture. So let's drill down into something specific and talk about a tool scientists use to study climate change. And that's ice cores. Well, what's an ice core? What do they tell us about our past? And why do they matter for our future? So ice cores are long cylinders of very old ice pulled from the polar ice sheets of Greenland or Antarctica, as well as some other mountain ranges across the globe. To get these cores, scientists use hollow drills to bore deep into the surface of the ice, sometimes even as far as two miles deep. After extracting these frozen cold columns, researchers cut them into sections, label them to keep them in order, and put them in super cold storage for future analysis. So what can miles and miles of old ice even tell us? Well, these natural layers accumulated over time provide a record of the past. Just like the annual rings of trees and ancient rock layers or strata, these natural layers tell us a lot about Earth's story long before we humans came along. When you examine an ice core, the oldest layers are on the bottom and the newest layers are on top. It's kind of like your laundry hamper. Each day you toss in your dirty clothes and after a week or a month if you're a college student, that pile of clothes can tell a story. The shirt at the very bottom you wore that way back on Monday and the stench tells you that it was from your pickup basketball game. This jacket near the top is from yesterday and you know it was raining because it's still a little damp. Each layer is like a time capsule. But ice cores tell us even more than tree rings or rock strata or dirty laundry. You see, as snow falls each year in these cold frozen climates, the layers are sealed off and compressed, trapping wind-borne dust, ash, chemicals, and even air bubbles. And these air bubbles are tiny trapped pockets of the atmosphere, but not of today's atmosphere, but the air from hundreds of thousands of years ago. No other natural record from dino fossils to King Tut's tomb offers such a valuable diversity of preserved physical data. We can also connect this stuff in the ice core layers to known time periods across human history. From the peak of the Roman Empire, when smelting silver coins left heavy metals on ice, to the presence of radioactivity in the atmosphere during atomic testing in the 1950s and 60s, the accuracy of the historical record captured in the ice is indisputable. Here's where we connect back to today's climate change dilemma. Looking back over the last 800,000 years, ice cores reveal natural, predictable cycles of greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere. But in the last century, that's just the last 100 years, the levels have suddenly and severely increased. Previously, levels never topped 300 parts per million. Today, the greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere are over 400 parts per million and still rising. See, we know the current climate situation is a big deal because we have these time capsules from the past. Sure, nature has its own extremes, and the Earth has had warming trends before, but none have ever been this severe, and none so closely tied to human activities. The stories in the ice prove that from industry to agriculture to our dependency on fossil fuels, we are dumping greenhouse gases into the atmosphere faster than nature can actually remove them. This is sobering for sure, but we can also find hope in the ice. Let's roll the tape back to 1970 when the United States passed the Clean Air Act to regulate air emissions. Ice core analysis from this time clearly shows a decrease in lead, sulfur dioxide, and other toxic pollutants in the air. You see, we saw our impact getting out of control and committed to a higher standard. Changes weren't easy and they didn't solve every problem, but it was a massive improvement. This example shows we can create solutions and rally together to make a difference when it really matters. We've done it before, and we can certainly do it again. Want to take a first step? 
Start by following trusted climate experts like NOAA and NASA and supporting policies and companies who prioritize climate solutions. And finally, get your friends and family on board and give climate change the ice cool attention that it deserves. Here's the if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.